Well, hello everybody. I wanted to show you a radar image from yesterday, but for a reason, because you can see downtown on the radar. Uh, remember, radar is just sound waves bouncing off of the skyline. So this bit that, that's not moving, that's actually the downtown skyline. And while we've been seeing some very warm weather this spring, breaking records, Europe has too, or they did, I should say, 70s and 80s, their earliest warmth uh, ever for much of Europe. But then some of those same areas this week, much colder, plunging to 20 degrees from 77. Now that's a Minnesota kind of change, but that just doesn't really happen in Europe. They don't see that huge swing in temperatures like we do. Uh, another milestone that's not good, the Mauna Loa Observatory observing a carbon dioxide level of over 420 for the first time uh, since records have been kept. And we know that from ice core data and sediment data that CO2 levels are the highest in hundreds of thousands of years. Uh, so definitely since human history. Uh, we hit 85 degrees on Monday. That's significant because it's the earliest we've ever been that warm, uh, breaking the old record. And we've had five days so far of 70 plus. The average before May 1st is four. And of course we have most of April to get through. Uh, and we know spring extremes are getting warmer by about five to seven degrees from what they would have been historically. That air that we had Monday was coming all the way from the desert southwest, western Texas, New Mexico. You could really trace the heat, that whole string of 80s and even 90 degree temperatures off to the southwest. And we can see this in the upper air data too, those weather balloons that we launch. Uh, we can see where you have similar conditions. Uh, above the ground, this air that's uh, following this nice curved black line, that's mixed air and very dry air. I know this is kind of confusing to look at, but basically that high desert air moving into the middle of our atmosphere and then with the sun and wind, we can mix up to that level and kind of pull down some of that heat. It's a very simple explanation of it. But now we're into an unsettled stormy pattern. Big system sitting across the central part of the country and it's kind of cut off from the atmosphere. So a very slow moving system. And those winds at the surface, we can trace all the way from the south, all the way from the Gulf of Mexico. And we're feeling the effects, some humidity for the first time this season, dew points in the 50s and are even gonna be flirting with 60 degrees. And we can trace that too, the yellows and oranges, those are 50 to 60 degree dew points all the way from the Gulf of Mexico being drawn up into this system across southern Minnesota. And that's why we're seeing some of the thunderstorms and some significant rainfall events. Of course, you need plenty of moisture and we've got it all the way from the Gulf of Mexico. First wave of morning and midday showers and thunderstorms moving off to the north of us. We're in a bit of a break here and this is gonna be indicative of this system over the next few days. On and off waves, not a constant rain and thunder, which could be good news for tomorrow. Of course, we've got the Twins home opener, 310, I think it's gonna be in the 60s, so plenty warm for this time of year. And some isolated showers or a thunderstorm around, but we're gonna be in one of those breaks, I think. This is showing the European model precip over that three hour period, mostly just off to our north. So again, watch the radar image. Again, one or two showers or thunderstorms around, but not enough to probably cancel or rain out the game. Those will move off to the north, and we'll see that steadier precip off to the north and west. So plan on a hit or miss shower or thunderstorm, but it's not gonna rain the entire period. So fingers crossed that we can keep most of that moisture to the north. And then the next wave of moisture will come in tomorrow night into early Thursday, or excuse me, this is Thursday morning, and then Friday morning, Thursday night into early Friday, we'll have that next wave. So kind of two main waves. Uh, tomorrow morning, a bit of a break in the afternoon, evening, and then another wave tomorrow night into Friday. And as far as additional rainfall amounts go, yeah, we could see up to one to two inches more on top of the uh, uh, anywhere from half inch to one inch that many of us have received so far this week. And then the upper level pattern gets a little cooler for us. We're gonna have another one of these sort of cutoff uh, chunks of uh, upper air, cool air moving into the region. And that means probably below normal temperatures for a change here for the middle of next week. Still pretty mild though, uh, relatively speaking, even though it's gonna be pretty dreary, 50s and 60s right through the weekend. We don't really see sun until I think Sunday and then Tuesday, but look at those temperatures Tuesday, maybe not getting out of the 40s. Yeah, well, normally mid-April can have much colder temperatures than that, so we'll settle for that. Looks like things will be warming up again beyond that.